Well, hello there, humans of these other things, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and if you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too, welcome back to the channel. I'm Bushkrin. Today's video is about the Object 140, which I'm playing here on the Asia server. Uh, the 140 has just, it's had seismic shifts to its gameplay and meta over the years. I remember uh, when this tank was first introduced, Snake Eyes and I used to run 62A Object 140 platoons. Um, and we'd run one or the other. and But they were very, very similar tanks. The 140 was a little less uh, of a turret monster, but it had slightly more mobility, was better at firing on the move, and uh, had a little more gun depression. That has waxed and waned as time has gone on. The most recent iteration of this tank is, I think, probably the best in terms of unique gameplay style. Uh, the 62A and the 140 for the longest time were life partners. <laughs> they were the same kind of tank. They had tiny variations on a theme, but they really weren't different. Like if you looked at the Leopard 1 and the E50M, I mean, they were just extravagantly different. And that's exactly what you've got here now. You've got a tank like the 140 that is all DPM, and a little bit of an armor profile that stops it from being HE'd. And you have a tank like the T62A, which is less DPM, has a slightly higher alpha, 320 versus the 140's 300, and has all the uh, the armors. Don't get me wrong, I probably would prefer to drive the 62A if I'm alone. However, if I'm in a platoon, then that's a very different kettle of fish. One of the reasons I'm showing you this first game is just to show you how difficult it is in the Object 140 to like, to solo tanks, to hold a line. You have to basically work off other tanks hit point pools and you have to have severe angles like that going for you to stop people from hitting you. And you have to really just try to keep the gun in the game, which can be quite difficult at times. You can see how many times I'm actually bouncing, even though this isn't a strongly armored tank, because I'm giving extraordinarily good angles. You've really got to give your angles correctly on the Object 140. And it's a Viper. Only 300 alpha, but nearly 4,000 DPM, 3,816 damage per minute compared to the 62A's 3,457. You're firing around every 4.7 seconds, right? That is very, very, very quick. And still, it's a difficult tank to run alone. If you can have a tank like an E50M, if you're having a medium partner, or a heavy tank that will hold a flank, you can do a lot with a tank like the 140. For me, it's the Russian Leo. It's got better armor, slightly less DPM than the Leo. Um, 3,945 for the Leopard 1, uh, 3,816 for the Object 140, but you pay for that slightly more armor. You can't be HE'd, and it gives it a lot more survivability, but you also only have 240 millimeters of AP pen versus the 255 of the Leo. And as I mentioned, you've dropped a little bit of that DPM, plus your gun is 0 0.308 dispersion versus the Leopard 1's 0.272. So you are legitimately struggling uh, to bounce shots, but not to the point that a Leopard 1 struggles to bounce shots. Sure, you're going to get pinned by AP from everyone, but you're not going to get pinned by HE from everyone. And that's a very, very important thing when you're trying to hold in this tank. So you're not as quick as a Leopard 1, but you're not far off. You really aren't. Um, your effective horsepower per ton is an incredible 41.5. The Leo's is 38.4, and you can get up to 60 kilometers an hour. That's that's quick. Like, this thing is very, very quick. But unlike, say, a T100LT, where you have the same kind of profile, uh, as in not a lot of armor, good DPM, but a lot of speed, you don't have light tank camo. So... You've got to be very, very conservative when you're playing this tank if you are not in a platoon because when things go wrong for you in an Object 140, they go catastrophically wrong. You can't trade effectively 
with this tank without taking damage back. Uh, one of the things I love about, say, a 62A, for instance, or an E50M, is that there are ways to manipulate my positioning so that I can bounce shots from other tanks. And that means that I can sometimes just straight up, like, wiggle and jiggle with a 62 on flat ground versus another medium or face hug them and force them to bounce. Whereas even super angled efforts like that with the 140, you're gonna get absolutely poleaxed. And when you've got to just like trade shots to clear tanks and try and help your buddies, then things get very, very tough and you gotta to be right on top of things to actually do any damage. I love, I love the game that our 183 plays here, by the way absolute legend i'm gonna need to track this guy miss it so i'm gonna take one and that nearly clears me like that's not far off but the dpm is legitimately furious and you can do great things with it as i was saying what you saw there is a very good representation when people want to push you they're just going to push you and there's there's really not much you can do about it when they push you they're going to just come and do damage to you and you're only deterrent is the amount of damage you can output as games get later and later and things get tighter and tighter that quite often is not enough and you can see though it's enough in this situation look at how quickly we're pouring the damage in here just three very fast shots takes about nine seconds to to rip out three shots um and that's that's very impressive in a, uh, a late game situation. If you can keep this tank alive and play smart, you can do great things and you will get the occasional bounce. And with the upped mobility, uh, with the upped DPM, um, you are very, very capable of carrying games. It's just not nearly as easy as it is in say a late game situation as 62A or a, an E50M where what you can do is be a bit of a bully if you save your hit point pool. Well, you got to save your hit point pool if you can in this thing, but at times you'll just need to input some damage and you're one of the tanks that players on the opposition team are going to be looking to shoot at because they can shoot and pen you very, very easily. However, being smart will actually help you a lot and that's what I'm doing here. I'm playing a lot smarter. That guy doesn't know where he got spotted from, and I had to be careful because he was obviously in a light tank and I don't have any light tank camo myself. What else is there to say about this tank? Well, I think both the Russian tanks are worth having. Uh, the 62A and the 140 are now really unique in their driving styles. The 140's got that free-flowing, fast, moving around the map, trying to find and exploit weaknesses, constantly looking for angles. The 62A's got a far more bruising and brawling style, and both of them have that Russian profile. You're low to the ground. Uh, like, I'm not kidding. People don't realize how quick this tank is now. The 62A has a 37.2 horsepower per ton uh, like number. This thing is 41.5. That's phenomenal. That's Your terrain resistance numbers are great. Your... Uh, your top speed is great, your profile is great, your DPM is great. It's just a fun tank, but if you're a new player, grind the 62A first, okay? If you're a new player and you want to play low-profile mediums, grind the 62A or the WZ-121, something that's got some armor and that can hold a flank without needing to run away. The game with this tank is constant mobility, constant movement you can't be the guy holding that line or you're going to end up in a really bad place now some of you might be wondering um why i haven't been playing so much the last week i got a huge chunk cut out of my hand uh i did a video on the PUBG mobile channel showcasing that um i had a, a skin cancer on my hand and it's meant not only can i not play uh a lot of tanks with the way i the position I hold my hands in. I also can't play a lot of guitar. In fact, I can't play guitar at all. And that's been really, really upsetting. The weird thing is um, I've been playing some PUBG Mobile. Uh, I did a, a live stream with that. Um, 
I've just been trying to minimize how much I've been using it. But I've got some old footage that I'm still going to make uh, games, make videos out of. So there will be more stuff popping. I'm getting the stitches out a week tomorrow. So when that pops off, um, you'll you'll see more of me out there and about, um, which is great. I mean, I'm, I'm loving life, living large and really enjoying myself. I just haven't been able to do a lot of gaming. That said, uh, I'm really looking forward to playing and continuing the grind. I'm nearly through to the VK7201. I think I've only got about 50,000 XP to go on that. I've really knuckled down on that grind uh, just before I went and got this stuff done. And there'll be a video on the VK7201 as well at some point. I mean, I just did one and it inspired me to actually go and grind the tank. I can play all these tanks on my... It's a funny thing. I, I can play any tank I want on my contributor account. I just don't. And I remember talking to skate about this it just feels like it it's like the forbidden fruit right it's it's all well and good to have it right in front of you but you don't feel like you've earned it i i don't know it's it just doesn't feel the same when you're just playing on a contributor account whereas it's great for setting up videos and if you have to do a specific video quickly it's wonderful but it's not the best for just how I feel when I play the game and having a goal. I guess we're a little bit like lab rats. Like you gotta have a goal. You gotta have something to grind. And if you don't have something to grind, you just kind of get cranky. I don't know. Um, thank you so much for watching the video, Zoe, and continuing to support the channel. Uh, there will be a lot of streams coming up. Uh, we'll be going back to the live streaming. We had a great fun time live streaming over the past couple of weeks as we get low under the gun on that poor old T30 and just keep juking back and forth. Look at this thing go. I mean, it does have some absolutely crazy, crazy deeps. And, I mean, you save your hit points if you get the opportunity. This is an absolute whitewash, this one. Uh, and we were a large part of that. There's got to be 5,000 damage there. All well and good in the hood. Uh, I'm Bushka. Look after yourselves. Stay safe in the battlefield. And uh, until next time, bye for now.